Okay, it's been 24 hours and uh, moment of truth. Find out if this is locked in there or not. That spins nice and easy. It's gonna come right out. That's a good sign. Got to do some Dremel work once I get this out. But I always like to clean up the Play-Doh first. stock of it like this. That's how I like to do it. I also like to give it a little tap. I seem to be missing my chunk of wood that I use. just in there tight I might have to I had to do one or two where I had to put them in the freezer overnight right, well, right there's kind of stuck All right, I'm back. I had to go out to the shed to get some tools to and some double nuts to get this stud out. pretty good. Yeah, happy with that. 
get rid of that front bedding compound off the uh, front there. We do. All right. <clears throat> Time to start cleaning her up. Yeah, I really like using two layers of tape on the bottom to make sure it stays off the bottom of the bedding. And then two up front gives it just enough wiggle room to be able to help you get it out. I don't know if it impacts if there's a change in weather or anything like that, but I do know that I'll have problems. Typically, I don't have any mars, <coughs> marks <coughs> in here on the bottom of the stock because of the uh, moving of the rifle. Once or twice, I'd say maybe out of the hundred or so I've done, maybe, if I'm being honest, maybe six to eight. I've had to read that again because I, I found out I did not do something correct. I need to go back in and uh, not necessarily do a whole complete bedding. I guess what they call like a skim bedding. <clears throat> and I'll, I'll admit one of those was just a couple of years ago. So, but it doesn't happen too often. And the thing is, I don't even know what it was that I did wrong. I just saw movement when I was taking the stock out. So, I don't know. I don't know what I did wrong. But I do know the second time I skimmed bit of it, um, it fixed the problem. And on a couple of them, it didn't even change <clears throat> the accuracy of the precision, it just stopped moving. It's fairly easy to clean up. It's not too time consuming. Also just wanna take your time and make sure you're getting it all out. Definitely make sure you look up on the recoiling area. Sometimes it'll squeeze up there more than you wanted it to. I don't know what's in CLP. I just use it for stuff like this. You know, when I was in the military, 
we used it to clean our weapons. I don't use it to clean clean anymore. Not affiliated or anything, but cleanse oil is actually a really good product. Um, it's done me great for years. good cleaner to it, good rust preventative. You can probably look it up online, it's probably good reviews. I never have actually, I, I got told by a member on our rifle team and tried it, like wow, it's Works really well. Just kept using it. But I would not be surprised if we didn't have good reviews. Who's that guy? Uh, he tests everything you can possibly imagine. Um, really high sprung uh, guy. In almost all of his videos, he'll be talking about something. He's like, we're going to test this. We're going to test this. You know, if a, if a product makes a claim, he'll say, we're going to test this. And he doesn't take any products or money from anybody. It's all out of his pocket. So, I don't know who it is, but he probably has a review of this stuff. He's so... Review so many different things. Who is that guy? I don't know. I'm terrible with names. And I like it because it comes into a, a small container. Comes a, this is Bortec, but it comes in a container just like this. And it's a liquid there, like drops. And this right here is a spray. So, anyway, enough advertising. I'm not here to promote products. Just something to talk about. And just trying to get off all the shoe polish and, and tape residue and then modeling clay.
Verhandlungsende wurden wir in den Kampf haben. Sometimes the JB compound finds just the area that you didn't have enough release agent. Sometimes the light doesn't want to cooperate with me. I got bad eyes and here first because I gotta get the Dremel out. Probably my least favorite part of bedding is the cleaning up of the stock. Sometimes it goes pretty well, but sometimes not. I don't want to break the crisp edge here. I usually take a little bit of uh, my wife's, what do you call it, fingernail file. <coughs> and I'll sand it down. I'm going to call it filing because you know me. Filing it down.
this. Sometimes I need a little uh, assistance to come off. So, <clears throat> wondering usually take a Dremel, just cut that out right there. Okay, time for the drum roll. <clears throat> Thank you. 
One of those times I wish I didn't have the shake so bad. This is what I took out. I'm doing that operation game. Okay. Yeah, there's almost no transition very very little transition like just a nudge on that rear tang that's just the way i like it all right now <clears throat> sometimes this stuff will pop up I like to get the big stuff out <clears> of <throat> the way. Okay, switch the gumbo around. see it better here. Maybe not.
a little bit more. Couple of small areas where I gotta switch them a bit. Overall, go out and drill. Gotta drill. I think it's a five sixteenth hole through here.
That way it ensures the uh, action screws don't hit.